day, friends. I just wanted to come today and read you Matthew 11. I hope that you're all doing well. I hope that you are talking to Jesus, that you are seeking him, and that you are finding him. Let's pray. Heavenly Father, thank you so much for this day. Thank you, Lord, that you are such an amazing father, that you're our only father. We may have dads here on earth, but you are our father, and you are an amazing, loving father. Lord, I pray, God, that everyone under the sound of my voice seeks you and finds you. And your word says that um, they will know you if you choose to let them. So I pray that you will choose them, that they will choose you and you will choose them. We love you so much, Father. I love you. I pray that today you will speak to your children, open their ears to hear you, their eyes to see you, their hearts soft to receive you. We bind the flesh and loose your spirit upon them right now in Jesus' name. Have your way, Lord. Holy Spirit, you are welcome and speak through me. We love you, Father. In Jesus' name, amen. Okay, so today, Matthew 11. After Jesus had finished instructing his 12 disciples, he went on from there to teach and preach in the towns of Galilee. When John heard in prison that Christ, what Christ was doing, he sent his disciples to ask him, Are you the one who was to come, or should we expect someone else? Jesus replied, Go back and report to John what you hear and see. The blind receive sight, the lame walk, those who have leprosy are cured, the deaf hear, the dead are raised, and the good news is preached to the poor. Blessed is the man who does not fall away on account of me. As John's disciples were leaving, Jesus began to speak to the crowd about John. What did you go out into the desert to see? A reed swayed by the wind? If not, what did you go out to see? A man dressed in fine clothes? No. Those who wear fine clothes are in king's palaces. Then what did you go out to see? A prophet? Yes, I tell you, and more than a prophet. This is the one whom it was written. I will send my messenger ahead of you, who will prepare your way before you. I tell you the truth. Among those born of women, there has not been there has not risen anyone greater than John the Baptist, yet he who is least in the kingdom of heaven is greater than he. From the days of John the Baptist until now, the kingdom of heaven has been forcefully advancing, and forceful men lay hold of it. For all of the prophets and the law prophesied until John. And if you are willing to accept it, he is the Elijah who was to come. He who has hear ears, let him hear. To what can I compare this generation? They are like children sitting in the marketplaces and calling out to others. We played the flute for you, and you did not dance. We sang a dirge, and you did not mourn. For John came neither eating nor drinking, and they say, He has a demon. The Son of Man came eating and drinking, and they say, He's a glutton and a drunkard, a friend of tax collectors and sinners. But wisdom is proved right by her actions. Then Jesus began to denounce the cities in which most of his miracles had been performed, because they did not repent. Woe to you, Chorazin! Woe to you, Bethsaida! If the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Tyre and Sidon, they would have repented long ago in sackcloth and ashes. But I tell you, it will be more bearable for Tyre and Sidon on you on the, on the day of judgment than for you. And you, Capernaum, will you be lifted up to the skies? No, you will go down to the depths. If the miracles that were performed in you had been performed in Sodom, it would have remained to this day. But I tell you that it will be more bearable for Sodom on the day of judgment than for you. At that time, Jesus said, I praise you, Lord of heaven and earth, because you have hidden these things from the wise and learned and revealed them to little children. Yes, Father, for this was your good pleasure. All things have been committed to me by my Father. No one knows the Son except the Father, and no one knows the Father except the Son and those to whom the Son chooses to reveal him. 
Come to me, all who are weary and burdened, and I will give you rest. Take my yoke upon you and learn from me, for I am gentle and humble in heart, and you will find rest for your souls. For my yoke is easy and my burden is light. Thanks for joining for Matthew 11. I will encourage you to keep talking to him, asking him if he's real, asking him for the truth, because when you seek him, you find him. Thank you so much for joining. God bless your day. Just be quiet in my deep darkness, you